Hello and welcome to Talking Pittsburgh. Some of you may be old enough to remember a popular children's song which specifically asked for the price of that doggy in the window. It's a cute little ditty for the kitties, but does little to address the real need of the Beaver County Humane Society. Enter Penn State Beaver faculty member Neil Fogarty and student team member Brad Strecker. Thanks for coming on today, gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us, Jonas. You know, you have a class called Contemporary Skills for Business Professionals. Right. How does collecting pet food fit into your lesson plan? Well, part of the thing about uh, being a business professional is you have to uh, uh, be able to form teams. And this was a team building assignment. So we had the students, uh, gave them about two weeks, gave them a, uh, a, a task to achieve, particularly one that was going to help the community out. And they went out, and as we'll talk about later, they did a fantastic job in doing that. <laughs> yeah, how much time you had said they had two weeks? To they had two weeks to do that. What did you learn from this, Brad? I learned a lot. I um, learned how to make teams and uh, accomplish a common goal, uh, be driven, and raise money for a great cause. So last year you came on, we, we talked about your expectations. They were exceeded. I mean, they were. La last year, before we had this project, I assumed the students were going to collect a couple hundred cans, but last year's class did a fantastic job and collected about 3,500 cans. So when we did this year, I thought maybe we'll get lucky and get up around 3,500, but instead they, uh, they more than doubled it. How many did we collect? We had 7,902 cans. Wow. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Great job, Brad. So the competition was fierce. It was absolutely fierce. <laughs> it, uh, it got even worse when like, we found out how many, can other, how many cans other groups were collecting, and it just drove us more to just go out and find more people, ask for people to donate for the wonderful cause. Um, unbelievable. Um, how have folks at the Humane Society reacted to this? Oh, they're, they're very thankful for it. Um, one of the problems that they have is a lot of nonprofits. They have had their budget cut. And one of the areas that they have been having trouble getting money for was supporting the animals that they're taking care of. And these are homeless animals that they're doing all sorts of wonderful things for. So when they found out that we were doing this project again, they also were hoping, let's hope maybe can get a 3,500. We showed up and had almost 8,000 cans. I mean, the, I don't know who was happier, the, the dogs and the cats or the people who run this Humane Society. <laughs> Brad, what do you want to do? You're, you're a business major? Yes, sir. Business marketing and management. And ultimately, you'd like to? I'd like to be in the sales industry, go out and find and meet new people and just further my business career. Oh. Wow. Yeah. You must be pretty proud of your students. Oh, they're wonderful. They're absolutely, you know, I've worked with Brad before. Brad is, is a great example of the students we have. He has, the, he has the winning attitude, the attitude, give me a challenge, and I'm going out and I'm going to achieve it. If you would like to donate to the Humane Society, refer to their wish list at beavercountyhumanesociety.org forward slash our dash wish dash list. That's Talking Pittsburgh for this week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Injuries can leave both physical and